I've been lucky enough to hunt Cape buffalo in a lot of different environments. From Uganda to Zimbabwe, Zambia to Tanzania, from the swamps to the forest. But this week, we're heading somewhere new. Presented by Global Rescue. There when you need them most. This trip, we venture to the wide open dry plains, trying to close the gap on a huge, big bull, Cape Buffalo. The vast scrub country gave us much more of a challenge than I'd planned on, I can tell you that. This is one of those days when you thought you were gonna get close. We got into about 120 yards to that big bull, but with a 577 open sights, that's just asking for trouble. And by the time we were even getting to where we contemplated it, I'm thinking about getting in a position to maybe even try a poke. They just got up and started walking. They didn't run, it wasn't because of the wind. Maybe after they feed out here for a little while, they might head into that thicket and rest for the rest of the day. It's starting to warm up finally. We'll see. Another cold, crisp South African sunrise. You know, something that a lot of people don't realize is that below the equator, the sun actually comes up in the west. It sets in the east. It's really something. Right below us here, about a hundred yards. In this little valley here. See if I can ease around here. Now he's turned, huh? Yeah, his head is on the left now. That, that one on the left though that's been giving us trouble if he'll just stick his head in. Let me try and get out. There they go, the wind switch. <sighs> Skulk. How many times, man? We follow them again. <laughs> I mean, I guess we got no other choice. We're already out here, but. Still early. They can only run so far. <laughs> yeah, Skulk Tate, famous last words. Our only chance is if they've held up over this hill. There's a little valley over here. You know, they ran off, but they didn't really seem that spooked. We'll see, maybe if they, we can get up here and take a look, we'll be all right. They're right there, the There's like two bulls on the left. He's the left one. Right down. That same black one? Yes, same one. Sweet. Let me try and sneak past. Okay, just go there.
375, snuck up, gave him the long range poke. I mean, after the first shot, he was done. The second one was just to put him out of his misery. What a great animal. Let's go see. <laughs> this bunch has been switched on and given us trouble. What is this called, day five? Yeah, day five. Five days of chasing these things around. So everybody who thinks Cape Buffalo hunting in South Africa is not a challenge, you need to come and do it before you criticize it. Because these are turned on buff that are hip to the program. I've never spent so much time on one buffalo in my whole life. Yeah. No, it's just nerves. You were the buffalo. <laughs> Both of us. Day after day, this guy and his buddies have been giving us a slip. And it's because of these varying winds. Out here in this wide open country like this, and even down in the creek bottom, we'd have good wind, it would be semi-consistent, and then bam, switched around and go in the other direction. And we bumped them. They've winded us at 500 yards and taken off run. I mean, it's, it's just one of the things that comes with buffalo hunting. But there again, just because you're hunting them in South Africa doesn't mean it's a piece of cake. It's the same thing as hunting anywhere that if they wind you, they're going. Same thing this morning. We got out here, we got over the top of that rise. We caught them down at the water hole, which was the plan from dark this morning. We said, maybe they'll be back at the water hole. Sure as hell, they're there. I sneak down the hill, we get right behind the bushes, I ease out from behind the bushes, whoop, they smelled us. They weren't even looking up. They weren't looking at all, and all of a sudden they all just took off running. And this guy stood there for a minute, I didn't know what he was up to, but then when they ran up the hill, I had no shot. You know, when they're all bunched up like that, he was right in the middle of them, as if he knew what he was doing, you think. Stayed right in there, no shot. But lucky for us, once they left that valley, they came over here and got into this little flat area here and relaxed again. And we were able to run across the tundra here and give them a long range poke, but it worked out good. Good shot right in the heart. Awesome, you gotta love it. Buffalo hunting, black death, right here in Africa.